the six foot tall Miles the Monster resides in Victory Plaza at Dover International Speedway. We're here for the Gander RV and Outdoor Truck Series. Drivers, start your engines. If you win all three of them, it's 500 grand. We're green at Dover. Brett Moffitt from the outside looking to take the lead. We know that that outside has been the preferred lane at this racetrack, especially if you're you're on that you know first or second row. Uh, and I think Brett Moffitt you know chose the lane. We're going to see the leader choose all night long. <laughs> Don't you just love it? We talk about how tough this place is, Vince, and how challenging it is. These guys, it looks like they've been practicing for two days. They just they throw the green flag and it's hammered down. Matt crafting up on the outside, trying to get around Sheldon Creed. Two different lanes, really tight racing already. And Mike, you mentioned practice, and for those that may not be as familiar with NASCAR or the series, there is no practice. <laughs> these guys, the first laps they turn are these. And Jamie, let me ask you, as, as a veteran and a guy that's raced here many times, could you imagine throwing the green flag, no practice, and diving into turn one like these racers are forced to do these days? No, but as we talked to you know the guys from the from the, the Gander Outdoor Truck Series or the Xfinity Series or the Cup Series, it's just become normal for them. And I think that was so unique when we used to have rain and you'd have to start the race, uh, you know, without practice. But this is just the norm for these guys, and they've gotten used to it, and, and they've done an incredible job of, of uh, you know, keeping everything clean. Side. Caution is out on lap seven, and it's the 0-2 of Tate Fogelman. A, a racer at Dover, and you wind up at pointing in the wrong direction, and your truck's not tore all to pieces. That's you feel a good, pretty good about that's, it. Yeah. That's a successful spin, and Fogelman's able to keep it out of the outside wall there. You can hear him just working that throttle. This place is so tough. You want to just mat it, but even with all that banking, once those tires get a little bit of wear on them, you've got to really baby the throttle. That's Austin Hill coming to get the green and white checkers to win stage one, his second stage win of the campaign. He's the regular season points leader, and remember, 15 playoff bonus points come along with that title. Looking to protect it and pat it tonight here at Dover. I, I think that's a, a great point, Vince. They, they are giving up, and he's losing some positions now. But he was in 17th, Mike. Oh, before and there's that. contact in the 51 with his teammate, Eckes. And Sheldon Creed gets a bit of that as well going by. There's Ben Rhodes, who I think avoided the contact, but then spun. You see the green and white checkers waving along with the yellow. Zane Smith, the stage two winner. And Chandler Smith, no relation, going to the pits for some damage repair. How about Zane Smith, former rookie of the year in ARCA? <laughs> Initial race in the Triple Truck Challenge I last loved it. week at Daytona. I love it, lad. Oh, and there's the oh, caution Stuart for Friesen. Stuart Friesen. So Friesen goes around, brings out the yellow, and we are going to have that restart that Zane Smith was hoping to avoid. And he has put a gap on Matt Crafton of almost a half second. Moffat in third, Gillow in fourth, Ben Rhodes filling out the top five, but Zane Smith's got some comfortable, has got some comfortable working space. You see, Ben Rhodes actually put tires on right there, Michael, but it just doesn't seem like he's able to capitalize and do anything with those. The final lap for Zane Smith. The 21-year-old from Huntington Beach, California, got his first win a couple of weeks ago at Michigan. And he is on his way to a second victory in the Gander Trucks. In his first truck series start at Dover, he's going to get the monster. Zane Smith, the winner of the Monster Mile. Bono Mannion, the crew chief for Zane Smith, said he's 
just a rookie, but he races like a veteran. And, man, have we seen that from Zane Smith. <laughs> I, picked, season. I picked him, Vince, uh, prior to the race because of his attitude. When I talked to him last week prior to going to Daytona, he said, I cannot wait to get to Dover. That's something you rarely hear racers say, Jamie, because this place is so tough, and he's never raced here. He never practiced here in one of these trucks, and he puts it in victory lane and collects uh, a beautiful trophy. Miles the Monster will go to his living room. You wouldn't have known he'd never been here today, guys. He did uh, did an incredible job racing a champion and Brett Moffitt. It was fun to, to watch those guys go back and forth and to you know win the second stage and then bring it home on a on a, a late race restart. I mean, he had to earn that. He had Matt Crafton all over him. It was uh, it's a lot of fun to watch him. I, I can't wait to see what the future holds for. You, you know, we talk about him not having raced the truck here, but he did have a couple of Xfinity Series starts in which he finished top ten in both of those. I mean, how valuable of experience that must have been for him today. Well, obviously huge because he came here knowing that, that he couldn't wait to get here. He knew he was going to be good. The place just suited his eye. And you can see <laughs> he did his job today. Checked every box. Made a late restart to get the victory. Got on and off pit road on a green flag stop efficiently. I just love what I see out of this guy. I, I can't wait to hear what he says about that restart that we just saw a replay of and, and what happened if he thought that, that, that they jumped or if he was just waiting to go. Um, but clearly, the last restart, he did a great job. He had Brett Moffat cleared by the start-finish line. Michael was able to have the whatever lane he wanted when he got to turn one. Yeah, there was no miscue in that final restart with the race on the line. Zane Smith <laughs> did it. Allen. Yes, he did for the second time this season. Remember the emotion that we saw in Michigan. You know it's going to be there now. He's already collected the checkered flag. Zane Smith, congratulations, man. Hey, there was a restart in this race. It wasn't very good for you as the leader. And then it came down to another one where you had to execute. What was going through your head? Yeah, I, I honestly didn't hear a word you just said. But, <laughs> man, I love this place. Uh, thank you on the house, Margarita Mix. Um, La Paz Margarita Mix has been such a big part of my career, and um, man, I've been wanting to win so long with them, and um, in the truck series, that's just so damn cool, but uh, man, I want that trophy so bad, and I know there's Bush Light in Victory Lane, so I'm 21 now, I wish it was a margarita, but uh, excited to get down there. Look, you get a trophy, you get a margarita, you also get $50,000 for the Triple Truck Challenge, what does that mean to you? Yeah, hopefully I can, like, pay off my Chevy Silverado. Um, but, man, just what an awesome truck. Um, man, I think we all know I suck at restarts, but I picked a good time to have a good one. But uh, we miss you, fans. Um, man, two wins. This is this is by far the most fun I've ever had uh, racing in my career. And, um, man, just so blessed to be here. A good day for a good restart. Zane Smith wins in Dover. For more great NASCAR on Fox content, subscribe to our channel. It's somewhere right around here.